Hello and welcome to your fourth C++ tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials. Um, last time learned about the uh, arrays and I said to you that I haven't yet decided whether this tutorial is also going to be on arrays but I can tell you this much that I made up my mind and this tutorial is not going to be on arrays too. This is going to be about something called structures. So um, let's get right into it. Create a new source file. Quickly type in the required information. All the the required basics things. And now that's it. Now let's actually create our structure. And the way to define a structure is S T R U C T for struct which means structure and we're going to type new person so now we have a structure called new person and this structure is going to have two variables in it a string called name and an int called age and remember uh, when you are uh, inside the structure you can never assign a value to your variables you can only do that outside the structure, which means like in the main method in this case, you can't do like this, assign a value like this and like this. This will give you some errors, so you can't do that. I'm sorry, but you just can't. So leave it be like this. And now let's get going. First of all, you need to initialize new person, so type new person, and then we call it person. Uh, this allows you access to the to our structure per, uh, new person, and we uh, initialize it to person. We could have called it shit too, but um, yeah, shit would uh, does just not uh, seem like such a good resort, so we called it person. Live with it or go to hell. And uh, now we're going to type person dot age equals nine five. So now we defined. Now we as, now we can assign a value to age, and the value we assigned to it is 95. Now, and now we can assign a value to name to, and the name of this person we are going to talk about right now is old Ernie, and he is 95 years old. So now let's make our lovely program here print out some information about old Ernie. So you go see out person dot name make space right here and person dot age so now it prints out the value of name which is old Ernie and the, and now whoops that was not meant to happen I just fucked up everything again that's embarrassing Now we're on the right track again. As I was saying, this takes the value of name, which is old Ernie, puts it in here. This creates a space, and now after the space, it puts in the value of age, which is 95. So if we compile and run this, first save it, and we're going to save this as structures. Wait for it to compile. And now, of course, we're meant to get some crabby error. And that's because I put an S on this. Don't do that. My bad. Now it works. It is old, er old Ernie and 95. That is exactly what we wanted to say. So that's a good thing. So now you may think like, uh, why not just declare an int called age then and a string called name instead of making this whole complicated structure thing. Yeah, that's because I just gave you a newbie example just to get you started in structures. This is actually the most useful way of using structures uh, that I'm going to share right now. Um, now you type new person and now we're going to uh, talk about um, we're going to talk about me my name is Benjamin so type Benjamin and uh, equal sign two curly braces and um, 
we put 13 in here because I'm 13 years old and then uh, to find string with two quotation marks and set Benjamin in here so do you have any clue why I put 13 in here and a string in here where with the value Benjamin not okay then I'll just tell you it's because that you see new person right here the first uh, factor in it is int age so that's why the first factor you declare has to be an int and it represents the age so I are 13 because I'm 13 years old and now if we were talking about old Ernie we would put 95 in Hanstead and, and in here we would put old Ernie but we're talking about me I'm only 13 years old and my name is Benjamin not old Ernie so uh, but we can make a new person too now type new person uh, old Ernie and now we define his age he's 95 years old his name is old Ernie old Ernie and we can also have a, uh, a new person for my oops spell something wrong up here also have a new person for um, my mom her name is Helen and she is um, how old is she 42 years old and her name is Helen and uh, like this you can create a lot of things with the same uh, data type you see now we got uh, now, now, you can, now you can create um, a lot of like um, a lot of persons, a lot of the same thing, but with different names, and print them out. And now you see that's much better than typing. Now um, imagine that you need 1,000 persons, and then it's easier just to make a structure than to make 1,000 of uh, 1,000 of this and 1,000 of this. So that's why structures can come handy. But now, what if you want to print out uh, my information? Then type C out. Um, hello, my name is. Now type Benjamin dot name. And and I am. Benjamin dot H years old and now we do the same thing for old Ernie and my mom hello my name is old Ernie dot name and old Ernie dot h and now for my mom hello and hello now let's see if it works and it did so um i guess that's about it actually um i hope that you see uh, if i hope that you got this but uh I'm not sure that I got this explained well enough. Well enough, so we're just gonna re recap um, one more time. This creates a new structure, uh, and we call the structure new person. Person. This structure, when defined as a new person, has to have two values. First of all, an int that represents the person's age, and then a string that represents the person's name. Now you type new person to like. Um, show that this is the structure we're using and we call it Benjamin because uh, that's the name of me and then the first factor we got is this the end age the second factor we got is uh, the string uh, name which is Benjamin and the same thing for old Ernie and my mom Helen and now it just prints out the information and I hope you see that this can come handy if like we needed um, to define 1000 persons then you would need to type int uh, Benjamin H equals 13 and um, old Ernie H equals 
95 and so on that'll take a lot of time and then after you did 1000 of these ends you had to do 1000 strings too so that's why structures is handy and uh, I don't even know how long time I have left so I think I'm just gonna finish off this tutorial now I really hope to see you in, next much in my next tutorial and I hope that you not just enjoy it but love this see you